Hello, I'm Andy. I'm Nancy. Welcome back. Yeah, somewhere. She didn't with me. I think she thought I was silly. And like I said, I think she wanted me to go with her to her, like, hide from the rain place. Yeah. But I'm not. I'm not about hiding in the rain, hiding from the rain in the rain. I found this out there too. I don't know where she is. She's out there somewhere. And she was fine. So, I mean, like, as far as her scuffle with Merlin goes. You mean Merlin will step back a little? About a week ago, I decided uh, I ordered a brake controller for this van, and uh, it showed up day before yesterday. I had it for about 12 hours when I got a call and said, "Hey, I need some stuff hauled. Can uh, you haul it for me?" Which, without the brake controller, I wouldn't have been able to. Now I have it. So, oh yeah, this too. I also ordered a connector. So I got to install this brake controller and this connector. Hopefully, this goes well. Uh, I'll probably have to make a run to the hardware store or the hardware store, the auto parts store, and get some wire, but. I'll install what I can now so I know what I need, and then I'll go get what I need, so I should get to work. Oh yeah, and the van's a mess. We just got done doing fire rings, and uh, I think we're done. So now that we're done with that job, we sh I should probably clean up the van. I don't really have time to clean up the van and do this, so I might even try to clone myself today, see how that goes. But uh, it should go way better than snapping. Let's see how it goes. put three up here right yeah yeah I only put three I realize I'm like 80% of the way done with the job and uh, I hadn't turned the camera back on we got all the wires run front to back and uh, yeah now it's hook up the brake controller or plug in and attach the brake controller hook up the wires in the back and I guess I still got the power wire to hook in the front Gonna make the doghouse so hard to remove. The option would be here, and we it's kind of where the cup holders and stuff should be. Don't think I have enough of the one wire. set you up and then I decided to move the controller and I was gonna move the camera and never did and that was dumb of me I couldn't decide here I'll show you what I had kind of could squeeze it in here but I was never gonna get the doghouse off without removing it and that wasn't gonna be easy over here I was either gonna I was gonna block something um there's just not enough room right here for it without either blocking the brake the hood or the fuel switch so I ended up mounting it right there um, I want to turn this into a cup holder and do some stuff here so I'll probably build it some sort of a better console for here and build that into it. Now I can just unplug it when I pull the doghouse off and not have to unmount it. 
where there I was going to have to unmount it and there it was going to just be in my way. Getting in and out was going to be in the way and of all those cables. So that's where it is. Get everything done in the front. I just have this to do in the back. Uh, I thought I could reuse the left turn, right turn and tail light brake because they all worked in the old connector and then I found the scotch locks where they had connected them and I'm going to cut them off and use crimping seals. I don't know if that'll focus, but either way. And uh, that'll at least keep the weather out. Here in Colorado, it probably doesn't matter. Scotch locks probably last a long time, but you're not going to get two years out of them in Minnesota. You get one winter. About halfway through winter, by the end of winter, it's done. And then I'll, I'll show you what I did up front once I get this done here. corrosion in there that is just amazing it's not a Minnesota truck oh. twisted together they'll both go into here and then they'll get crimped and then the trailer wire will hook onto the other end I don't like that crimp I'll replace that just so it's not a problem in the future if I ever go back to Minnesota Corrosion starting in it. So. Oh, my neck. It's a terrible angle to hold your head. Okay, what do you have on right now? Um, parking light. Want to turn them off? Off? Yep, okay, and on? On. Okay, so that's parking. Brown, I believe. Let me, let me place this wire in real quick before I forget which one is which. Leave it on? Oh, you can turn it off. Okay. Then I guess, but see if I guess right. Why don't I do right turn? I guess right. I saw the wire going over there. There, want to step on the brake? Okay. okay. Let off the brake. Okay, both brakes work. We're good to go. Um, well, I'm good to go on that end of my wiring. Oh, come on. Going under the hood? No. I gotta hook up my power still, but I gotta wait till I'm not feeding a live wire through metal stuff. Here's the hard part. Putting out, putting all the wires through here first, not forgetting. And then you can't put this piece back on. I've done it a few times we set that on the toolbox and then hook all these wires up to all these screws. And then you realize, oh that piece had to go on first. Do it, redo it. Yep. Sun's going down. Yeah. Oh, I my camera's not doing anything underneath there.
red wire is 12 volt power. Where does that go? This gets harder and harder every time you put another one on. What are you missing? Screwdriver. Bright orange, right there. Not that it matters underneath my leg, I can't see through it. If you have too much drip, then they can touch each other in there. It's amazing how many wires get stuffed together in this little thing. Mm. It's only one negative, so you can't pop a fuse, but there's all kinds of powers. And if you touch the power, if the power gets shorted to like a turn signal or something, or turn on a brake light, I've seen some really weird problems come in because of problems in this thing. Yeah. Or even corrosion, crossing terminals across, and you'll have like the right side lights will stay on dim. Yeah. What even with the key off. Which one of these is trailer? Give me directions, not just abbreviations or no directions, just a piece of cardboard. Huh. Need me to look up the diagram online? Yeah, that probably won't hurt. Seven pin connector. What's the center pin? Yellow, I've... reverse lights. Center is yellow, okay. I, would, I don't have a hookup for that. I'd probably have to run that wire. I'll deal with that one later. Um, because I don't even wire run for that. I'll probably just have to unplug it to back up the trailer. Otherwise, mm -hmm. it'll think. Depends upon the trailer. Okay. And... You just said red and green, right? Well, how did that slide out so easy? My red that I, I did is 12 volt power. So then on the other side of that one... Because that one's typically black, so then on the other side of that one, on the other side of the green, is left turn and brake. Let me redo the green. So 12 volt, this green is right turn, right next to 12 volt, right? Green, well the green that I'm seeing is tail and running lights. That should be brown. Brown is right turn and brake. Okay, I don't care about your colors then. I okay. just okay. <laughs> those mean nothing. That that's not the same connector I have. Plug side wire inside. So plug side is this what I'm at looking at. Okay. Oh, that's the plug side. So that's a backward. So I'm looking at it this way. This is the worst part about. I'm so sorry about it. You oh, guys, no problem. Um, did you guys install the bear boxes or did somebody else? Someone else did. Okay, yeah, because we can't open one of them. We're okay. not sure how to, but we were hoping you guys did, but that's okay. No, Please. um, we know the guy that did it, though. Uh, Is that a thing underneath? Isn't there something underneath that you can do? Yeah. On these ones? Thank yeah. You, um, which, which which one won't open? What site number? I think her site number is 25. Okay. Okay. It might just be that, like, my hands are not, like... Yeah, no, the, they're, they don't all work super well, so... Yeah. I'll go... We'll, we'll work some. I'll try and get some okay. guys to help. Okay. 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 Hopefully the okay. Yeah, it's good. We're just... Got some trailer work to do, and you need a trailer connector. Good luck. Thanks. Okay, so need the photo again, yeah. So... There's 12 volt. Why is it? This is the same here. This picture is different. This picture is the same as what I have. I don't understand why there's the... I ran into the same thing when I was trying to hook that up for that other customer. Oh. That there was two different ways of doing it, and I don't understand why there's two different ways of doing it. Yeah, that seems really weird. But this is, shows that this is ground, which that shows ground. Electric brakes, so EB right there. That's what EB stands for, I guess. And then... Right turn is green, that's what I have there. 12 volt power is there. Running lights will be there. Okay. That picture, that picture is the picture I needed. Great. You gotta feed one back? I'm just gonna go one right to here. And oh. the other one's going to the body underneath. This one's going to the body underneath with the other three wires hooked up to anyway. Mm. And then, 
I've never seen too many ground wires on anything. Redundant grounds are used on a lot of things. So the bottom right, that was the trailer brake and the center was reverse? Bottom right was ground, bottom left was brake. Okay. Center is reverse, yeah. Yeah, looking at this side, it's bottom left, you're right, that's ground, bottom right. Center is reverse. So they take all the tents down from out there now, or most of them? Looks like all but one. It's annoying having brand new products that don't work. Mm. It's really annoying installing a brand new product that doesn't work when it's not your product that you got. When I, whether I was at a dealership or a car, you know, I could install a product that was, you know, a, a Chevrolet product was bad when you installed it. Oh, well, that's the way it goes. Mm -hmm. But if the customer brought in their own part and it didn't work, that was just, and that's what I feel with, with these bear lockers. And a lot of them don't work. And that yeah. just is annoying. I'm gonna use one more of those blue eyelets and one more tech screw. Okay. They used this screw, one of these, but they had a metal one of these on the original. I didn't really think about the fact that now I'm using plastic. Thank you. Yeah. I shouldn't have done that yet. What do you need? The blue cutters. Oh, I'll grab them. Then is there electrical tape up front or where was that at? I think it's up front. I remember I put it in the seat. Okay. I just got to hook up a power underneath the hood. I think I got everything else done. Cool. I wish I had a nut that I could put over that. <laughs> 